Hello, better no one two in here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Tales of Symphonia. We're back at Flanor. Alright, so Zealous is gone. Maybe he's a really good doctor. Alright, so where is this doctor? Well, actually, I know what the doctor is. I think he's, uh, he's by the church area. So let's go there. I think. I don't know. My guy didn't say where, though. Lower section of the city? Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, wait. Yeah, I remember that area. Yeah, just don't think about it. Think warm thoughts. Ionis is that weird rock they had me ingest. Use that to make the ring of the pact. Mm, can I really do what? What is he saying? Made him eat a rock. What's up with this guy? Yeah, we'll pay whatever you need, man. Don't worry about it. Uh, the three of who? Oh, Prisea, Regal, and Rain, I guess, so the lowest compatibility. Or actually, no. I guess Zalos is part of them, too. Yeah, th these four right here are the four with the lowest compatibility with Lloyd right now. Those are the ones that leave. Who is it? Come on in. Hey, hey. baby. Do you have a sec? Um... Sheena! What's up? You want to come outside with me? It's snowing and it's really pretty. Wow. I never... I've never seen you like this before. But anyways, um, yeah, Sheena must be my top as far as compatibility at this point. So, sure. Why sure. not? You could say no and then the next two will come. Everyone's asleep. The world looks so peaceful when you stand here like this. And you can see their scenes instead if you want. Yeah. Even though up above us, Crucius is busy planning its absurd age of lifeless beings. <laughs> lifeless beings. Do you think discrimination would really go away if everyone became lifeless beings? I doubt it would. 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm human, but the people of Mizuho and the other humans of Tepe all have always had a gap separating them. Even inside Mizuho, I always stood out. Maybe Mythos despises the blood of both races that course through his body. Maybe so. I can kind of understand that too. Because you're from Mizuho? Well, since I can make pacts with summon spirits, I probably, I probably have elves in my ancestry somewhere in the distant past. Really? Apparently only those of elven blood can call forth summon spirits. Not just magic, but any technique that uses the mana of the natural world requires some elven blood to be flowing through you. Then Kratos and Zelos too? Yeah, they might have some elven blood in them. Just like me. I see. So that means you too, Lloyd. The instant I made the pact with Corinne, people around me started to look at me differently. And I thought to myself, this is what it must be like for half-elves all the time. Did you ever wish you were different? <sighs> I've lost count of the times I wished it. Especially since I caused the deaths of the people in my village. But it's because I have this power that I met Corinne and all of you. Yeah. If you didn't have your summoning abilities, someone else might have come to kill Colette instead. When I think about it that way, I think that everything a person possesses is important in some way. In other words, you have your summoning abilities because they're needed. Yeah. My power, Colette's power, Rain and Genus' elven blood, and everything you've received from your parents. They're all needed, and that's why they're there. We're all needed, and that's why we're here. I think you're right. I think every single life has meaning. Me too. I started thinking that way lately. And when I did, it's like a great weight was lifted from my shoulders. To know that it's okay just to be alive, you know? Well, yeah. That's a given, isn't it? <sighs> Wasn't a given for me. I failed in my duties, and I ran from making pacts. I always thought of myself as a burden. I see. But after seeing you say exactly what you mean, and not holding anything back time and time again, I started to think that maybe I could just... be myself. Really? I, I don't quite get it. Really? I think I started to think that way because you live your life in such earnest. Uh, I think that's a compliment. <laughs> I wish Mythos could feel that, too. Mythos? If he lived his life as earnestly as you do, maybe he wouldn't be able to snuff out the lives of those who are trying just as hard to live. I don't know if we can get that across to him or not. But I'm going to fight him, for the sake of creating a world where we can live our lives the way we want to. Are you planning to make the next move? Yeah. I don't see the situation improving by allowing Crucius to go about their merry way. I agree. I don't like just sitting around and waiting to see what happens. Right? You and I think a lot alike, Sheena. I think we could become great friends. Great. Friends. Oh, you, you don't want to? <sighs> Idiot. <laughs> Come on, Lloyd. You moron. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm gonna be showing some more of those. Guys, how's Altessa? Well, he managed to pull through. Some dudes from Mizuho are hanging out there to guard him, so everything is all right. Good. I need to speak with everyone. The world is never going to change if we just wait for Crucius to make the next move, right? So this time, we're going to strike them first. Well, so you're finally ready to do it. We're going to raid Crucius. Yeah, I have two objectives. Prevent the establishment of Mythos' new age and release Origin. But if you release Origin, what about Kratos? I don't really know yet. We don't know for certain that he'll actually die. We also don't know if he'll side with us or not. We don't have the time to worry about things we're not sure of. 
What do you intend to do about the Eternal Sword? Even if you break Origin's seal, you can't wield it, remember? And I doubt either Genus or I would be able to handle a sword. Don't worry about that. I've got it covered. What are you talking about? Why do you think I can use magic swords? I received magic injections with the latest in Tetheala technology. In other words, I'm a human with elven blood in me. That should work, shouldn't it? Then I guess this will be the final battle. Understood. Let us end this. Oh, this game is, uh, far from over. Yeah. I'll do my best, too. Colette, I need you to stay behind. What? No, Why? we need her to fucking steal. They want you as Martel's vessel. We'll have either Mizuho or the Renegades hide you. If... that's what you want. No, I don't want that. That's stupid. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want that. No, I'm going to. There you go, Colette. But... <laughs> I get it. You don't think you can protect her. That is so sad. What did you say? Don't worry, Colette. I, the great Zelos, swear to protect you. Zelos! Take her along, Lloyd. They're gonna be after her no matter where she is. You ought to know that by now. Be a man! Show her what you're made of! Wow. We actually have the same opinion for once. Sorry, Lloyd, but I agree with Zelos this time. <laughs> All right. Colette will come with us, okay? Thank you, Lloyd. And everyone else, too. Does Ted the Hella really have a technology like that? It sure does, for some weird reason. All right. Let's go kick some Crucius butt, Lloyd. Zelos, I trust you. What? What are you talking about? Well, of course I can understand that you're counting on me. Just place your faith in me! Faith, huh? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go! Anyway, that's the, uh, Sheena Funor scene. And I think I'm gonna show some other characters at this point. Except for Kratos. In fact, I'm going to show all the characters. Except for Kratos. I'll be showing Kratos off uh, his scene in bonus episodes of this game. Uh, but for right now, yeah, I'm going to start showing off more. Alright, who's next in line for the Sheena, compatibility? what's up? You want to come outside with me? It's snowing and it's really pretty. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry I bothered you. Wow, that's some snow. Lloyd. Did someone just call my name? Uh, yeah, I don't want to do this one right now. Okay, never mind. I guess I can skip this one. So, uh, yeah, I have a bad feeling. Oh, well. I'll just stay inside. So Kratos is second in compatibility. That's pretty good to know. And yeah, that will carry over to a new game plus. Who is it? Come on in. Okay, so I'll show off Colette's thing. Wait, did I wake you? It's snowing outside. It's always snowing here. I was wondering why it was so cold. Yeah, it's really cold. You sure sound happy. Yeah, I mean, I can actually tell it's cold. I'm so happy. That's right. You couldn't feel things like that just a little while ago, huh? Say, Lloyd, if you don't mind the cold, do you want to go for a little walk? Look, look! You can see out over the city! It's so beautiful! Yeah. Lloyd, do you remember what Krato said? What was it? He said we can throw the x spears away at any time. But right now, we need to carry the burden of the hopes and dreams of the victims and fight on their behalf. Oh, that. That was when we saw x spears being made at the human ranch in Silverant. He was talking about your mother, wasn't he? But he works willingly for the boss of the guy responsible for turning my mom into a monster. I don't think that's true. Prado saved us over and over again. 
And he protected you too, Lloyd. Yeah, but... And so, I'm sure he cares about both you and your mother. He's a wonderful father, don't you think? Is that why you brought me out here? To tell me that? Um... Hmm... Yeah, I guess that was part of it. Thanks, but it's okay. I'm not really shocked about the fact that he's my father anymore. But... Origin Seal? I'm sorry for bringing it up, but if he unleashes all the mana from his body, then not even he could... I know. No one knows if he'll survive or not. And that's why we need to find a way to release Origin without Kratos losing his life. Just like the way you saved me. Colette? I'm sure everyone will understand, okay? Please? Thanks, Colette. But I look at it this way. Kratos has his reasons for siding with Mythos. And I want to hear what those are. Anything else I do is going to wait until after that. You're going, aren't you? To Darius Carlon. Yeah. I plan to go after we check on Altessa's condition tomorrow. I don't agree with Mythos's vision. I have to prevent it from happening. I'm going to fight him. Is it okay if I come a little closer? Mm hmm? Um, sure. I don't want to see this beautiful scenery ruin the way Silveraunt was. I won't let that happen. This time, we're going to protect it, right? Yeah. Do you know the seventh Dwarven Vow? <laughs> the one you hate the most, right? Goodness and love will always win. I really hope that's true. Are you worried? Then... take this. What's this? It's a charm. A Flanor Snow Bunny. They say it brings good luck. I had them take one to Altessa earlier. And this one's for you. Thanks. Lloyd, we're all with you. Now that you have a charm too, everything will work out okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I get an item for this. For Colette's, I get an item. Hmm. Anyways, a snow hair. Mm, uh, it's okay. I wouldn't say there's anything great about it. Rather just equip a rabbit's foot if I want luck. Can you room bottle it? Actually, it might help if I unequipped it. Or wait, it is unequipped. No, I guess you can't room bottle it. It's me. Have you looked outside? It's snowing. Okay, yeah, this is footage I was right here why that it was so cold. Let's go outside for a bit. I Come got on, from uh, from YouTube. Sure. So yeah, the window stuff's gonna look a little bit different, but whatever. Wow. Everything is so quiet when it's snowing. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, huh? We hardly ever see snow in Isalia since it's so warm. Wow, this is so cool! Hey, you're gonna trip- Don't worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> see? I told you. Hey! You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you crying? Did you hurt yourself? Huh? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I just got a little scared. Of what? I just thought about Mythos as an angel. He probably wouldn't notice that it's so cold. Maybe. Maybe he just wants to reject everything about who he is. Being human, being elven, even being half-elven.
tomorrow, after we make sure Altessa's okay, we're going to finally put an end to all this, aren't we? Huh? Why do you ask? Yeah, that's the plan, anyway. Then, is it okay for me to take Mythos aside for just a minute? What? I can kind of understand how he feels. Just a little. Really? When we were chased out of Isalia, I... I cursed the fact that I was part human. I couldn't stand it. I see. When Rain and I were refused at Heimdall, I was so embarrassed and frustrated. Yeah. I'm neither human nor elf. Neither side will accept me. Yet unless I belong to one of them, neither will recognize my very existence. Are you opposed to fighting Mythos? No, it's not like that. I certainly can't forgive him for the things he's doing. But it pains you, right? Well, even if we defeat Mythos, I don't think we'll truly have defeated him. Yeah. Humans, elves, and half-elves, all of us have to change. Can everyone really change? We can't give up. Everyone has the right to live in this world. To see this scenery. At least, that's what I think. You're right. You've been really stubborn about not giving up. Can't you think of a better word than stubborn? Maybe I'll try being a little stubborn too. You sure know how to push a guy's buttons. <laughs> oh well. Phew! It's getting pretty cold. Wanna head back inside? Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Lloyd. Hmm? For what? For just treating me like... Treating you like what? Nah, never mind. What was that about, dork? Hmm. Come on in. All right, this proceeds. It is me. Hi. This is unusual. What's up? Would you like to go see the snow? Why not? Yeah, this will be the last wow. one I'll be showing I've never in this seen episode. This much snow before. I have hardly ever seen snow, so it feels strange. Really? My memories from the time when my soul was missing are not very clear. And also, I've never been anywhere besides Ozette and Miltokyo. I see. I understand. I'm the same way. Before all this happened, I'd hardly ever left Isalia. Snow melts away so quickly. Yeah, it's just basically ice. I always thought of it as something that remained for a long, long time. But instead, it is fleeting. Yeah. When you talk about it that way, it's kind of sad. But that's the way things are. Trees, grass, and flowers all eventually wilt away. People are no different. All life eventually dies, and so snow disappears as well. Altessa will not disappear yet, right? Prosea. I... I still haven't forgiven him. And yet, if he were to pass away, I... It'll turn out okay. That is not absolute. I wish you wouldn't say things like that so casually. If it was absolute, I wouldn't say it'll turn out okay. What do you mean? Those kinds of words are meant for when we feel that there is no need to worry. There's nothing in this world that's absolute. And I think that's precisely why we say things like that to ourselves. Stuff like, I know I can do it. I know it'll be okay. Perhaps so. Honestly, I don't know if Altessa will be alright. 
The only thing I can do is believe in Altessa's will to live. Believe? Yeah. And that's why I say it'll be okay. I'm going to keep saying it and keep believing it. Human will is a powerful thing. I'm going to use that power to keep Altessa in this world. It must be that power of will that makes you so strong. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. When I look at you, the things I thought were completely hopeless feel as though they may actually be easy to overcome. I'm simple-minded, so I don't think too hard about things. Yeah, that's the truth. I just figure it'll all work out somehow as long as I don't give up. Do you think you can win against Mythos? Yeah, I'm going to win. I won't be able to fight him unless I have that mindset. Is it because you were friends with him for a little while? I'm not sure. Maybe. But I can't sympathize with him. Yes, he has done many terrible things to humans, elves, and to the land itself. And to half-elves. He took his own pain and forced it on everyone around him, and got the entire half-elf race caught up in the process. Yeah, that's why most of the freaking half-elves yes, are hated. Probably mostly true. because of him. The fact is that humans and elves have both done bad things. And I'm sure that Mythos tolerated it as long as he could. But that's only an excuse for all the things he's done. Lloyd, you will win. Huh? That is how I feel after talking to you. If your will and Mythos's will were to collide, I'm certain that yours will overcome his. Because you are not denying your true self. Thanks. Just hearing you say that gives me the courage to take on Crucius tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep. After we make sure Altess is okay, I'm going to put an end to all of this. You are going to defeat Mythos and unite the worlds. Yeah, that's the only way. Lloyd, I'm sure everything will be okay. I know you can win. Hey, you're being positive. Yes, I will lend you the power of my will as well. Okay, I'll make good use of it. 